Right words? Mm -hmm. Where's that at? Job 625. Oh, wow. For what doth your arguing prove? Do ye imagine to reprove words and the speeches of one that is desperate, which are as wind? Yea, ye overwhelm the fatherless, and ye dig a pit for your friend. Now, therefore, be content. Look upon me, for it is evident unto you if I lie. Return, I pray you, let it not be iniquity. Yea, return again, my righteousness is in it. Is there iniquity in thy tongue, in my tongue? Cannot my taste discern a perverse thing? Yeah, yeah you can taste a perverse thing. Right, your boy was preserved. He had that perverse spirit on him. And actually, I really think he really got mad. He said he got gay friends. I think he's a fucking, yeah, he's, he's by a, what you call a download. Yeah, he, he had a real, you know what I mean? He had a little, right. what they say, a little sugar in his tank. Right. He had that feminine spirit. Looked like he done, done swallowed a, a, a glass or two. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Right. He's a big cum guzzler. His conscience is convicted. Back to Ezekiel 3 and 19. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his wickedness. But thou hast delivered thy soul. Again, when a righteous man doth turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and that goes for these niggas that be coming out and don't and stop coming out, man. They was in its truth, but they fall right back into the fucking world. You know, they seem to have skipped over the book of Ezekiel the third chapter. Again, when a righteous man doth turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die. Because thou hast not given him warning, he shall die in his sin, and his righteousness, which he hath done, shall not be remembered. He won't come out for two or three years, man. You know, oh, that's enough for me. I already put in my work. I can stop working that. Which he hath done shall not be remembered. But his blood will I require at thy hand. I'm going to continue on. Nevertheless, if thou warn the righteous man that the righteous sin not, and he doth not sin, he shall surely live, because he is warned. Also, thou hast delivered thy soul. I got a precept real quick. Real quick precept. That was in on that anyway. Okay, but this is real good. This goes right with it. Is that your party too? <laughs> Looks like it. Right there in the light. You see, it's about to go by. Oh, yeah. That ain't my car. It shouldn't be. I sure hope not. There he is. <laughs> see yeah. the car. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I should be in a safe spot. Right. Hey, you don't know it. The devil, though, man, you're done with Satan. They just come and swoop your shit up. You won't even know it. Uh, but he was going through that scripture talking about how you're supposed to warn brothers. Right? Uh, Luke 15 and 10. Actually, let me just start at 8. You get more. Actually, man. There's actually so much to this. And let me just. Because this goes into the same thing, man. We out here warning brothers, right? But this is more to it. More the reason we are not just to warn people. We out here to warn them about this hell that's coming. But we also out here to wake up the elect. You know what I mean? Uh, Luke 15 and 1. Then drew near unto him all the publicans and sinners to hear him. And the Pharisees and the scribes murmured, saying, This man received the sinners and eateth with them. And he spake this parable unto them, saying, What man of you having a hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he find it? Cut. Yep. Cut. <laughs> Cut it. And when he had found it, he layeth it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he called his, together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. That's why the Lord said he came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's why we out here, we out here, Luke, this is a parable. We out here searching for your uh, lost brethren. I can imagine the stupid look on their face when they come with that. Man, which one are you? Yep. They come I can imagine that stupid ass look. It's like he had a stupid ass walk when he walked by. Yeah, because you know he's getting cut. The more we, he kept hearing what we were saying, and he just shut down. He's like, shut it down. Because that's what his intentions were to shut us down. The little demon came in his mind, shut it down, son, shut it down. <laughs> that's why you always kill him with the scriptures, man. Why are you getting scoffers out here instead of trying to fight him? Just read them scriptures. Just read them scriptures. 
Because it's easy. You want to get carnal. Some of you want to start yelling and fight. Just stick to the scriptures. The scriptures will start eating them alive. Uh, let me, uh, I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth. More than over 99 just persons which need no repentance. That's right. Uh, oh, that's my boy right here. What's up, homie? Oh, how you boy? Where you been? <laughs> my man. What you said, man? Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, okay. shit. Three weeks. Well, you, out, you back out, man? I to church Sunday. Oh, no. Hey, good. God bless me. All right. Wait, you hear me? Yeah, yeah. We hear you. That's your boy. That's yes, a dude. Maybe he gets stuck. I didn't know that guy was a real person or not. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. I guess he's a person. I didn't know that guy was an angel or what. That's kind of funny. I he didn't get locked up for the committed assault. But he got five got locked up on some bell shit. He punched that seven day Adventist. <laughs> hey, he didn't even hit him hard at all. You watch the video. He like. You know, that's one of them drunk punches. Trying to hit him, couldn't even get no strength behind it. <laughs> yeah, he was drunk. He was out of here. Bring the motherfucker out of here. He sure did. Hey, 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 does not light a candle and sweep the house and seek diligently till she find it. And when she had found it, she called her friends and neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found a peace which I lost. Likewise, Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repentance. But like you would say going in Ezekiel, you know, we come out here to warn people. Because if you don't warn somebody, then that blood's gonna be on your head. But also, too, you're supposed to get them to turn away from their wickedness. Because the angels rejoice. It said the angels in heaven rejoice. Just over one person, they're, they're repent. You know what I'm saying? If somebody wakes up to this truth, you know, the angels rejoice. All like that raggedy ass bitch that was out here earlier. That little white hood rat beat him up, bitch. Looks like the whole hood done ran up in it. She had the nerve to run her mouth. You know what I'm saying? Got, she, just, she done got bukkakis all over her face. You know what I'm saying? Got, got multiple videos on Pornhub. <laughs> you can just straight up a hood rack. Got the nerve to talk shit to us, right? Deep throw video, deep throw video. But, uh, but she, she was making fun of us saying, what? A, she asked us, what, what kind of effect do we think that we're having? Well, the scripture said that if only just one person wakes up, just one person. You know, Israel, they party and we do a big. We do a big. So the angels was rejoicing. Just imagine, over one person. Can you imagine what was the fireworks was doing? Uh, come on. They probably do. Uh, they was probably out there near uh, Saturn watching, making uh, 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 meters hit, large explosions. <laughs> yeah, because these, my, the people, the average person, they think on a real low level. You know, they, they think that uh, you ain't doing nothing big unless you got big numbers. That's not, the the Lord don't work in numbers like that. Because just one, one, just one person of that 144,000 is a beast. Just, just a, one. Just one. Just one. Just, just one of the elect is, is something to be, that you can't deal with. You know what I'm saying? Just one. Just one ain't no joke. So we, we, ain't, we ain't coming in the number. we don't play the numbers game. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you look even back through history, numbers didn't even win battles. You know what I'm saying? When, when David uh, went against the Philistines, he was just a little, a young man defeated a giant, had a whole army behind him. You know what I'm saying? Big ass giant. Uh, I mean, you read it all through the scriptures. And when the Lord is with you, man, the Lord give you power. Just like the Maccabees, they sent an angel with him. They just sent one angel with him. Remember that story? They just sent one angel. The Lord could have gave him more. He's like, I'll give you one angel. That's going to be enough to do the job for you. You know what one. I mean? That one angel went around doing judgment on Israel when David fucked up. Yep. Most I had to ask him to stop 
Yeah, so it ain't about, we ain't playing a number game. Because you got a lot of Israelite groups out there like IUIC. They all about numbers. They think there's strength in numbers. It's not strength in numbers. Here you go. That, well, well, we should have ended up anyway. Spear brought us right back to Matthew 7. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Well, Matthew 7 and 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide huh. is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Yeah, broad is the way. Like, like you call these women broad. You know what I mean? A broad is something that's wide. There's many of them. It, 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 yeah, wide. Deep and wide. <laughs> yeah, but these people out here, they do whatever the fuck they want to do. Especially if they live in a country that lets them do what they want to do. You know what I mean? Hey, read that again. That's a good one right there. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the way, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Right, it says enter at the straight gate, not straight like a straight line, but straight. I should look that word up in the dictionary. What's up, bro? What you looking up? Straight. Oh. Yeah, I wish they can look it up on their own. I don't feel like getting the dictionary out. Getting lazy. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Yeah, few there be will find it. So we're not, we're not playing a numbers game, trying to get as many people as we, you know what I'm saying? Many as people as we can. Because strength, you don't have strength in numbers. You got strength in the truth. That That's is, that's solid. That's a solid foundation. You know what I mean? Well, you got to have a whole neighborhood. What if you had the whole downtown built on a weak foundation? You know what I mean? All these big, giant buildings. They just cave into the ground. Well, it was like Jimi Hendrix said, the castle's made of sand. You know what I'm saying? They melt way, way melt into the sand. Oh, what you got? What's Griffin one twenty-eight? He says, "In base things of the world and things which are despised, God has chosen; yea, and things which are not to bring to not things at all. Wow. That no flesh shall glory in His presence. But of Him are ye in Mashiach Yahshai, who of God is made unto us wisdom and uh, righteousness and satisfaction." Sanctification and redemption. That according as written, he that glory and flame glory in the Lord. These motherfuckers glory in the Lord. They glory in themselves. Like they was something great. Like these these women think, you know what I'm saying, their ass is and their smile is the greatest thing on earth. That's why they always turn around when pictures taken. Yeah. You know? Always turn look, around. Their ass look better than their face. I don't even want to see they stinking ass either. It's yeah. shit. It's that shit nasty. It's nasty, real, man. man. That shit literally got me turned the fuck off. You want to see people acting properly the way it's supposed to act. Like decent fucking people. You know what I mean? Twerking. Twerking. Some fucking shit. DNC a man twerk. That's some crazy shit. Who's that, man? One Kenny Livingston West and North to Sawmill and Bethel. God loves everybody. A real fucking Edomite, man. Damn, that's crazy. Walk around here with no chains. Loose on the loose. Who we at? Scripture. I, I'm looking for some scriptures. Now you can bring out whatever you want. I'm just looking for some. Judges is bad. I love Judges. First sample, second sample, first case. That's crazy. That's a history book. 
Man, what am I doing? I keep be trying to tell. That's why I be telling people a lot, a lot of young dudes, man. You want to read a badass bo uh, comic book, man? Read these books, man. You hear about all kind of superpowers and death right. and destruction. Man. Yeah, that's what I was. That's what we was into growing up. That was the thing. Mm -hmm. Comic books. Now the young kids, they growing up with video games. Yeah. They get all their fantasy stories from the games now. Video games, yeah. And there's some, bad, them cool, games, some bad shit in them games, cool, yeah. Right. But that shit is, you know, too much of them, man, because you're sitting there too much. Yep. You know, you're sitting there too much. Yeah, I grew up, yeah. You I'm like them. reading a comic book, and the comic book ends, you got to wait till next week or the, whenever the next issue come out, man. And I hear a lot of sci uh, said scientists. Like a comic book writer, what's that dude's name? Alan Grant. He wrote uh, Drudge. He's a big conspiracy theorist. He wrote uh, Judge Dredd. And pretty much, you know, watch Judge Dredd. That's all, that's like an allegory for him on society. It's not just like, oh, it's just a fictional made up world. No, he's like warning people with the comic book saying this is what everything's leaving to is total control. He got a hell of a vision. Yeah. Uh, well, he got it from the truth. Yeah, yeah. But, but you listen to Alan Grant talk. I think that's his name, Alan Grant. But this dude, he's a smart dude, man. But he said uh, something about comic books, reading a comic book. It's different than watching a movie is because you're looking at pictures and reading it. He said you use both sides of your brain at the same time when you do it. Because you're going through, you're looking at the pictures and you're reading the words, and it makes your mind work more. It's different than just reading an actual book or watching a movie. You know, you're reading and you're looking at the pictures and you're progressing, you know, through the panels. It is something unique about a comic book. He, he's describing extracting in yeah. a more intelligent way. Yeah, right. <laughs> In an intelligent way. But there's something unique about the comic book experience, you know what I mean? Right. I'm glad I had a little time. Right. So I'm glad I did, man. Some badass comic books out there. The art is beautiful. The, the Marvel, especially, though. Because the Marvel comics take you out in the outer space they, with the celestial and the, uh, the order and chaos and all that. That's some bad shit. What you got? Now, go ahead, bring it out. I'm talking about comic books. It's Judges 7 and 1. Then Robobel, who was Gideon, and all the people that were with him rose up early and pitched beside the well of Parag, so that the host of the Mennonites were on the north side of them by the hill of Parag in the valley. And I was said to Gideon, I'm going to say it right Gideon. The people that are with thee are too many. For me, usually somebody would say they're too less, too many. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Less people, whatever. Uh, for me, uh, for me to give the uh, Midianites into your, their hands. These Israel vaunt themselves against me, saying, My own hand hath saved me. Right. Yeah, it, it must reduce the size of the people. Yeah, it's not a numbers game. You know what I'm saying? The Lord don't care about large numbers. I mean, you even see that even in, in warfare, you see that. You know, even Alexander, you know, because he's the devil, he's an Edomite. But the Lord still brought him up to power and guided him. Because everything happens according to the word of the Lord. The Lord prophesied that Alexander was going to conquer the known world, and that's what happened. He prophesied it, spoke, and it happened. And Alexander had an army, probably one-third or one-fourth the size of the Persian army, and destroyed them. The, the Persian army was like a, over a million people. Who was he going for wearing them? I mean, where the leopard skins, right? Because they, you read the historical. They still got that same very one too. Because the Lord has sent an angel, an angel, the chariot of the Lord came down to help Alexander with the battle of Guagamela when, when they routed the Persians. At ten in the morning. And they had a, the, the, the Macedonian army was small compared to the Persian army. I think they had like thirty thousand troops to like a million or something crazy. Go ahead. It's, uh, it's like for you know, for example, about the Lord. The Lord wants the, uh, the all of the praise and glory. You know what I'm saying? So like, let's say if you have a job, you get a paycheck every week. You depend on that paycheck. And when you don't have a job and the Lord still feeds you, you go, oh shit, that's the Lord, right? You know, that makes you more dependent on it. That's true. Even when you have like a little bit of money, it, it makes it seem like you got more than what you got. It's like when the Lord fed the multitude with them loaves of bread. You know what I mean? They say we ain't got nothing. He fed the whole multitude. Somebody ain't got nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's the reason a lot of people follow the Lord. They followed him because he was feeding them. Yeah, they just wanted to eat. They didn't want to eat that spiritual bread, though. They just wanted that physical bread. They didn't want that spiritual bread. I could get that scripture. That's all. What do you want to know? 
Oh yeah, they in this man. 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 That's how you know we You said good news. I thought he said the <laughs> missiles were. I thought he said America's about to be destroyed. That's Did good he say news. That? Oh, you thought he said no, that. he said he had good news for it. Oh, what's the good news, my man? Uh, out the blue, my doctor, because I got a job interview Monday. Oh, yeah? All right. Okay, okay. Getting the dick for it. All right. Well, well at least you have, some, they have get money to eat. Yeah. You get your daily bread. For the family. Right, right, right. Is that in the Bible? Daily bread. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, it's hard to, uh, to get something to eat in this country. So you gonna make it? You gonna work your ass off all day, all week long, and then the Uncle Sam gonna come and they gonna take all your money. You can eat all right. You can eat yeah. a whole lot of unclean shit. Yeah. <laughs> you can eat a whole lot of unclean shit. This country is wicked, man. And this, this this country got the wealth to feed the world, man. Hey, let me read this scripture. Uh, John six and twenty six. Yahweh answered him and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, ye seek me, not because ye saw the miracles, be, but because ye did eat of the loaves and were filled. Talking about how the Lord, he took the loaves of bread, all he had was crumbs, but he felt, fed a whole multitude with that bread. And a lot of people only follow the Lord because of what he could do for them physically. Only because they could physically feel that gut. You know what I mean? That's right. Labor not... Labor not for the meat which perishes, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life, That's the word. which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him hath God the Father sealed. That's right. And let me keep going. Then they said unto him, What shall we do that we might work the works of God? Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, This is the work of God that ye believe on him whom he hath sent. Ooh, I gotta keep going with this one. They said, therefore unto him, what sign showest thou then that we may see and believe? What dost thou work? He already showed them miracles and everything already. Nah, that's like, that's why if you wanna get rid of somebody, just start reading the scripture. Big Larry, the cable guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me get more on this though. This is good right here. Hey, cause this goes, we just talking about eating the roll earlier with that Ezekiel. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. You know demons can become a lot worse. Maybe the Lord did bless him. He got my job. Well, that is a blessing. Yeah, it's hard to eat. Because he could be sensitive. He just retarded. Yeah, I think he is. Actually, yeah. The scripture says bring the dumb to you. Yep, yep. That's true. Some people just ain't gonna get it, but you know that's because they're a little slow. Yeah, that's true. Yep. You know, that's the poor. We the poor and the, the low. And who the world rejected, you know? Hey, that's I'm being. Them in all kind of in apps, all kind of places, turn, they turn me back. See, that's being. Oh, that's called being spiritual, right there. Right, right, that's right. true, though. Right. That's so. That's that mercy. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So he, he, don't, he don't never scoff, man. Never. Nope. Right. Woo. Uh, then Yahweh Shai said unto the actually, I, I'll skip. And I know at the spot you see the same faces, don't you? Every week. Yeah. Every week come to get a meal. You know? Yeah. That's why I'm doing with that same thing, man. See the same faces. Same I've seen it. No, nah, bro, this is one Judah I want. She's fine as hell, bro. I've seen her out here. I don't know about to me, she's fine. But uh, she, I've seen, she, she was scoffing at us because she hates us. <laughs> I mean, you, you know who was, she was. Man, she be that. She be up there every day. Straight up. All dressed up, looking all nice. 
getting the handouts. I see a lot of people. A lot, a lot of people in there uh, need help, though. Uh, John six and uh, thirty. They say unto him, What sign shows thou then that we may see and believe thee? What does that work? Our fathers did eat manna in the desert, as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. That's talking about during the Exodus. When the Israelites was in the Exodus, they had crossed through the Red Sea. And when they was in the wilderness, they, there was no food out there. So the Most High brought down uh, angels' food from heaven. Okay? And he just gave them some, some magical food to eat. <laughs> you know, hey, the word manna, that's the funny thing. The word manna in Hebrew means, what is it? <laughs> it? It gives you the definition of it in Exodus. It says it's the word. Good, good. Yeah, the most high is crazy. Well, they try to pack their lunch. <laughs> and the <laughs> most high said, yeah, don't, I only gather enough, enough manna for the day. Don't try to get too greedy and try to store it. It was 10 doggy bags. <laughs> they was trying to save the manna. You're right, you're right. And then when they saved it, it turned into maggots and worms. Oh, such a but you know, I bet you never. That's, a, that's Israel, rebellious, man. Yep. Rebellious, man. And then they was complaining. Here it is, they have the, them angel food to eat. Then they complained that they didn't have enough of that. And then they begged for some birds, for some meat. That's crazy. How y'all doing? I was good. How you doing? Woo woo! She had a woo woo. What's she at? Down with the clowns? You don't remember her? A while ago, it was a while ago. Probably. It was like a couple weeks after we first started coming. Oh, really? Over there. She remembered us. Yeah, she cool. Damn, she over there. She bugged out. Yeah, she cool though. You know, Israel got spirits on them though. I mean, that's, that's why we out here though. I'm a terror right now. It's not.